Chrysler air temp air conditioner that was in the casita. We removed it and used it. And here's the unit that we originally replaced it with, which is a 6500 BTU Frigidaire, and that worked okay, but uh, in extreme heat, it really didn't cool the camper down below about 77. So now we're going to uh, 7500 BTUs with a reverse heat pump and see if that works better. Here's a picture of the cabinet that the AC unit was located in with the carpeting removed and painted white. You'll notice I've uh, also added some insulation to one of the walls and built a support for the air conditioner out of aluminum. Here's the external cabinet uh, with the grill removed. As you can see, it leaves quite a lot of holes. Now here's the cabinet with the AC air conditioner housing installed, ready to be bolted in. Another shot of the external side, you can see the cabinet now in place. And here's a picture of the wood which was originally used to hold up the air conditioner. We even said, decided to replace that with uh, pop riveted aluminum channels, which you can see underneath supporting the air conditioner. Uh, this makes it for a lot uh, stronger and also more sanitary. This was filled with mildew and wet carpeting when we started. And here's the top of the air conditioner. I am still in the process of putting the duct on in this picture, the top of the duct. So here's the new enclosure installed. We've taken out all the wood pieces, even used aluminum for the trim, as you can see here. And we've insulated the top of the cabinet and the inside of the cabinet. We removed all the rotting carpeting and painted the entire inside of the cabinet white. And in place of the wooden pieces holding up the cabinet, we have these aluminum pieces, which I've pop riveted and made into a frame. And it's also bolted, as you can see here, to a channel on the front. So you can see the thing is solid. It's not going anywhere. It's riveted all the way around. Here's the collection of wood that was holding it up. As you can see, it was getting kind of wet and damp in there because it was carpeted in the bottom, so any condensate or water that got in just stayed there and mildewed. So I'm glad we took it. The unit we're putting in is a larger yeah, 7500 BTU heat pump. As you can see, it sticks almost to the front of the unit, and there's a notch there for a drain. I'm gonna return a drain out the front so it drains the condensate. I've also cut away this vent here there's a splash guard inside the vent. I took the vent cover off and cut away this so the air can get into the air conditioner more easily. Okay, so here's the air conditioner installed. As you can see, the exhaust vent really is not on the optimal side. Uh, I tucked the cord up here and used a wire tie to hold it in place. And you can see the uh, closet's a little higher. We wanted to cut an inch off the bottom of the door accommodate the larger unit. You can see the water dripping off the new air conditioner. Uh, it has a discharge hose, so we'll make sure the water goes outside the camper instead of into the carpet, soaking everything up. As you can see, the opening here is not nearly as large as the opening of the air conditioner, which goes up to about here. Uh, so we're still deciding what kind of grill to put on here, but maybe we'll cut this out and make a larger grill so it'll be more efficient. When you duct the air conditioner like this, it does reduce the efficiency, according to the owner's 